Okay. All right, so we are back. So we're gonna do Rishi's Jungle Jam now. So um, the rule is four stock, eight minute timer, and Starman on very low. The only stage we can play on is Congo Jungle. Oh, you wanna commentate with me? Yeah. Nice. This will be interesting, for sure. Yes, this will be very interesting. I just <laughs> just explained it. The way it works is you only play on Congo Jungle, you have Starman on very low, and it's four stock and eight minute timer. Yeah, that's that's really the whole rule set. Beat you. Ready? Fine. Performing for you. If you know the works, you can join in to oh, you put your like hands that. together if you want to clap and let it take you through this monkey rap. <laughs> Donkey Kong. <laughs> well, he's finally back to kick some tail. <laughs> that coconut gun can fire it first if he shoots your blah, he's gonna hurt. Pichu has done nothing. He's been, I haven't been around and he's already taken more damage. Okay. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong is here. <laughs> oh, that was the best. I'm waiting for the clap trap to come by. <laughs> yeah. I was about to throw hands if you thought it was straight up bad. <laughs> never played. Oh, you never played melee? Yeah. Melee is fun. That ledge, dude. That ledge yeah, yeah. is no good. It's very slippery if I were to say. I think it's funny how Pichu was so bad in melee, and then they brought him back in ultimate, and he was too good that they had to bring him back down to melee levels. <laughs> bring him back down to earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, does Pichu still take damage? Yep, even with the invincibility on. <laughs> wow, that's my stuff. <laughs> Talking much just so we can hear the wonderful rap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was your fault. And now they're cheering for Pichu. <laughs> Oh, there's the clap trap. <laughs> Dang. Pichu wins again? No. <laughs> oh, look how cute Pichu looks. All right. So now we have Tommy 12. Be fire. It's where we be, be fighting. Oh, 
Oh yeah, fire, is that blue Zelda color in Ultimate? Yeah, her blue color. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's the best Pikachu. Pikachu. We don't like the skinny ones. <laughs> the chonkers is what we need. Oh my god. When I think of Pikachu. They did them right in Sword and Shield with those gigantic backs. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> the attacking to the music. Huh, I guess I never, I don't know that I've played this game enough with headphones to realize that the, the music is still going on in the background on top of the Starman. The Starman just shows yeah. up a lot louder. I didn't know that. I like how Pikachu like bends in half in this game when he picks up anything he yeah. like folds over. <laughs> like what is that? Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Transformed into a top tier. <laughs> oh, whoa. He, bring it back. he that might. Since I had never played any of the Legend of Zelda games up to the point when, when the melee came out, I was like, who the heck is Sheik? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. oh chain grabbing is great. They should bring that back. <laughs> no, never. Yeah. It's the worst thing ever, and I love it. <laughs> as long as wobbling never exists. <laughs> Well, Jonah was doing a little bit of desyncing earlier, so I don't know oh. if we'll see any wobbling in Brawl. No, I, unless he decides to. That'll be interesting. We haven't seen that. Whoa! <laughs> that physics. That physics? Those physics. That physics, though. <laughs> Loving the drum back though. I think it's really anyone's game now. Yeah, it pretty much is at this point. Unless a unless a star man comes out at, at a very inopportune or opportune time. Yeah. But we got Pikachu at God percent. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Do percent on him. Uh, oh, wow, awesome that DI. DI. Coming from fire. Every hit is just so scary. Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, oh, my God. We're living from that. That last one saved him. He would have gone through the stage. Oh. This is not ultimate. <laughs> what a great option in ultimate. <laughs> Honestly, really great run backfire. Almost there. Here, I'll jump. I'll jump in for um, for one of these. So, Thomas, you can say why you're a believer in melee. <laughs> Is it me? And So, 
we got the exorcist fire. I wonder is fire gonna choose Zelda again? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think you have to. Ooh, Battle of the Princesses. I hate to see it. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting for sure. Oh, for sure. And they're both wearing white. Great. Are they getting married? Uh, yeah. See how many stolen skins we get today. Zelda up by one, but it's almost so almost dead. <laughs> Definitely at a decent kill percent. <laughs> but I mean, Fire's just bringing like heat. Honestly, no, that's that. Bad. Ooh, Zelda got pimp slapped into into death. I really like the sound that the turnips make when you pull a turnip. Oh, it's just hilarious. <laughs> Every time I hear the Donkey Kong rap, I only think of the very terrible Donkey Kong who is hilarious. A Bohemian rap version. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So satisfying. I see what you're saying. Damn. Time him out. Don't do that, please. Oh. I don't. Zelda got the star again. Oh no! Oh. I should have been Peach's voice actor. <laughs> oh, when you were <laughs> two? Huh? When you were like two? Uh, no, just in general. Oh, just in general. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> I don't think my voice is made for voice acting. Never mind. I could have. I could have just been one of the pilots. 
one of the buttons. <laughs> yeah, just like. I don't even know what the finalists say. They're just like, I'm a piece of cardboard. Oh, bear claw. I didn't know they talked. Yeah, no, they they literally are silent throughout three houses, except for in combat where they'll actually be like, let this be a lesson or something like that. So we got about 2.40, and we might not get a timeout this time. We need a Mewtwo and a Jigglypuff just floating around forever. I'll come in. No way, Jose. This game just is not, it's, it's not my thing. All right. Got me and Luis on commentary. I think I I am the only viewer <laughs> right now. Oh, they'll come flooding in now that I'm on commentary. <laughs> no. U. S. A. So his name is USA, but he's playing as... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually optimal strategy. Whoa, why does she, when uh, clanking with uh, Marth, why does it make the like metal sound? Um, she's wearing steel toe boots. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's fair. That's Have my, a good day. That's my head cannon now. Ooh, oh, he dropped it. That jab is fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was talking about Lanky Kong. It was, yeah. This just in, I am fighting your brother in the uh, Long John Silver's parking lot. Wait, what? Is that confirmed? Yeah, it's confirmed. For money or uh, for, for glory? Uh, for glory. It's the best mode, so. 
Do right. Star is what's keeping Sheik alive right now. Yeah, what's not even right? To him. Two percent on him. This great Z call. Just see this too. Oh, dang, that was an insane was, comeback. That was. This game has my favorite Fire Emblem victory theme too. This game just has the best victory themes. Yeah. That was my favorite Ness one, my favorite Ice Climbers one, my favorite Captain Falcon one. Mario! I actually like how Mario plays in this anyway. Talk is a little higher tier, but. Yeah. Crunch cancel. What is it? Is it like creamy ranch? No, it's ketchup and ranch. Ketchup and ranch. Yeah. That sounds nasty. Oh, it, it's it's terrible. That sounds which is why wild. I bought it for one of my friends yesterday. Oh, you terrorist. Well, my brother, it's my brother's friend, and it was his birthday, so we were just like, okay. So my brother got him mayo chub, and I got him crunch. Sound of crunch is it? So, uh, oh, it kind of sounds like a slur. Kind of curse word. It does. Captain Falcon is down B. If you're using the air or pressures, you're double jump. Yep, that's him too. It's just those two. Works in melee and brawl and 64, I think. I took it out in four. Ooh, I 
explosive crate. Who's up? Luis, you up? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah. No. Oh, these headphones are, are warm. I hope no one has the virus. Yeah, that would be a problem. Th that would be a bummer or a bubble? A problem. A problem. A, a Neither. problem. Man, this this music it's it's gonna get old fast. Where where is that 20XX mod? Who's worm? Who is who's worm? Oh, Luis is worm. Why why are you worm? Oh, okay. That's cool too. Are you gonna keep it? Are you gonna remain worm? <laughs> what? I don't know. Does Dr. Mario, does he have a license? Did he go to medical school? Yeah, he's a doctor. How do you, how do you, I, so there's a, a, like a medical school. You know what, doc, you know what, Mario, he, he's a little bit like Barbie. Like he, he does everything. Yeah. He's, he's a, I, I think they retconned it so he's not a plumber anymore. No, I think he's still a plumber. No, th I think they got rid of that. They said he's not a plumber. But they, they fix pipes in Mario 3D world. Oh, they, wait, they do? Yeah. Oh, so I guess he is a plumber. Him and Luigi. Weird. Both, like, oh, maybe, maybe they realized that was a bad idea. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and... But he... Yeah, so he is a plumber. He is like a vigilante, basically. Because they don't have a police force, I believe. I the think the police Kingdom? force are toads. Yeah, but they don't... They don't... They don't... Do they do anything? No. Yeah. So they just kind of panic. That's all they do. Yeah. Yeah. So he is a vigilante. No, he doesn't get paid through the coins. No, okay, he just picks okay. up the coins on the way, and he stomps on the bad guys, and when they die, they pop out a coin. I mean, yeah, yeah, but he's a vigilante, and are you, like, if you rob, like, if I, like, robbed, like, Al-Qaeda or something, like, if I looted one sure, of their bases, okay. is that, does that make me a criminal? Um... Yeah, I suppose so, but I don't know. No, this is getting too political. I need another. I need another spike, example. Okay, so he's a golfer. He drives go karts. He's a he's been a baker. He's a baker a and a construction golfer. worker. Yeah. Um, tennis player. Tennis. Every sport. Every sport. He's, he's an Olympian. I guess like an MMA fighter. If if you count this. <laughs> A doctor. He's got to be a pilot too, right? He's a pilot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this raspy voice guy. I never I never heard him before. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> close. It was a good, yeah, it was a good match. So have you heard that theory that Fox sawed off his own legs and replaced them with robot legs? So yes. That, yeah. That like all the pilots do that? Yeah. But here's the thing. It doesn't constrict all your blood. You just have less blood from your legs you don't have. Are you sure? Yes. So like for instance, if someone like if, I don't know, is this too morbid? Like, okay. I mean, what it's, it's a- circulation to your legs first? so the blood wouldn't flow to it, and then they cut him off. Oh, I think that would be the way to go then. And then you just have an excess amount of blood. Yeah. I guess you'd puff out a little, you know, with all that extra blood. Would you? I, I don't know how that works. I don't know. Like, no, the thing I'm is, not a doctor here. I'm not a doctor. You'd have to ask Dr. Mario. You'd have to ask Dr. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, you'd have to ask Dr. Mario, but, like, if you... Like, yeah, before, like, they get amputated, so, like, would you... You'd puff up with all that blood. Or, you know what? Why don't... 
by you know what why don't they just get blood like from another fox and that matches his blood type see they just have more they no, just pump on. him up with more blood that can oxygenate and then he's good is and that the reason for the cutting off the legs was the blood yeah because pilots what they have to do is they have to wear like special pants apparently and it constricts their calves and so when they do like their barrel lo their barrel rolls and their loop loops and stuff they they don't pass out from okay. the lack of oxygen in their blood okay apparently yeah and so they say oh fox is his He's wearing like metal shoes or something, so they must have sawed his legs off. That's what. That's the conclusion they jumped to. Didn't that like come from somewhere though? It, it's no. It's a fan theory. Like it doesn't. It, it's purely like, it, like it, speculative. It, yeah, it's purely speculative, okay. and they're just like, look at his legs. They look like robot legs. I think, I think they sawed his legs off. Okay. Yeah, it's that logical. See, I thought it had come from like somewhere, but no, there's no official documentation. Yeah, in that case, I'm not, I'm not subscribing to that. You're not, uh, yeah. Theory. Bunch of people do. I mean, I guess it's like, I don't know, I, I guess it's QAnon. I, I, sorry, I can't, I keep oh bringing, my gosh. bringing up weird stuff. How did you jump to that? Because it's like QAnon for nerds. It's, I, I'm, I'm not saying it's in the severity. It's absolutely not that. I, I'm not saying in the severity. <laughs> I'm saying in that it's something that's not true that they believe kind of baselessly, you know? Well, I think the the basis is the that everyone has the same like metallic legs, and regardless of the upper like their torso, yeah, their, everyone's legs are the same in Star Fox. Like they just I, look the same. I, I suppose so. I mean, yeah, and so I don't. The, that doesn't mean they I saw them off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They're like, like, they must have saw their legs off. Yeah. Man, that water's weird. Yeah, it looks like an amusement park water. Ride. Yeah, I like mean, an actual river. Like, part of me is like, man, I love the smell of amusement park rides because they use like something. Because the reason they don't use chlorine, I believe, don't don't take. I mean, don't take my word for <laughs> it, but I believe they. Like, they don't use chlorine because it'll, like, bleach people's clothes and stuff. And so they use this special chemical, and it smells weird. It smells like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, they, they try and make candles that, like, resemble the smell of that chemical. So really? you can make your house smell like, like a, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like a but, musky cave? Yeah. But the thing is, is that... I, I don't think it actually smells like a musky cave. You just associate it with the cave with the, you're yeah, going through there. With and the positive thing, memories. Yeah, and the thing is, is that like they can't use oh, it's Pirates of the Caribbean flavor. You gotta look for that. Uh, look for the star. Check the platforms. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Worm. Worm. <laughs> Yeah, we'll say that when he gets a good play, Worm. <laughs> yeah, you got this, Worm. You got this. I don't know. Is it is, is it wrong to have biased commentators like us? Not when it's Worm. I don't think this is... Uh, Not when it's Worm. This isn't necessarily competitive. Get, get it. Get it, Worm. Get it. Oh, oh how no. The, how on earth? Oh, you were so close. You were so close. No. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, you're you're killing me. You're killing me here. You get so close. Oh man. Oh, that that star is Dunzo. So, do you think like when they get the star, they feel like euphoric? Like the characters? Yeah. Like, it, like if that happened in real life, how would you feel? Like, would you feel like a euphoria? I don't know. Probably the same. You feel the same. You just couldn't get hurt. Yeah. Well, would, but the thing is, is that it wears off. So, uh, like, I'd be tempted to, like, I don't test know. Test it out. Yeah, to like test it out. Yourself or something? Yeah. Like I mean, is this too traffic? morbid? <laughs> just run into traffic. Yeah, but then wouldn't the person in the car like explode? Because, like, in Mario Kart, when they get hit by the star. 
the car just goes like it flips over, you know? Right, okay. It doesn't make you like intangible. Yeah, but the thing is, is that how would they charge you with a crime? No one would believe it, you know? <laughs> I mean, like jaywalking, no one, it's jaywalking is so crime. Okay, so like, I mean, jaywalking is a crime. That's a pretty minor crime, and Not that's a thing. Not if it causes like a. Car I mean, wreck. would it cause a wreck? I don't know. Well, the thing is, is that like, would someone just like spill the beans and be like, "Hey, he had a superstar, and it flipped one of the cars over," and then you're just sitting there, and like, the judge wouldn't believe you. You know what I mean? And then it's like, no, they're crazy, and then you'd win that court case. I feel. It's possible. You know? Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Can they really sue you, <coughs> though, in the first place? Yeah, I mean, you're the one who hit them. Yeah, but then you're the one who got hit. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a law, though. I remember this in Driver's Ed, where, like, no matter what, if you are a pedestrian and you get hit by the car, then it's the driver's fault, right? Yeah. I mean... I'm, I'm hesitant to say this because it sounds like that thing where it's like, if you ask a cop if they're a cop, <laughs> they, they have, have to say, to yes. say yes. And that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then that's that. Well, what, what driving school did you go to? I went to the one that's across from Fox's Pizza. It's like the old school. Oh, okay. We were trying yeah, to go to the Jonah same one, too. but it didn't it didn't work out. Right. I mean, you... I mean, yours is wild, and, yeah. you know, we can't talk about it on stream. Right. I was going to say, if you heard that rule from that guy, yeah. from the dirty teacher I had, yeah. then I wouldn't the guy you that. had. Well, you saw a documentary where a dude stole a tank, and he was just driving it around, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did, did he live? Wait, was that like a documentary or a Grand Theft Auto? No, that was a... I mean... I, I was gonna say I hope it's a documentary, but another part of me is like, no, do I? Oh, he's schmoovin'. Oh, schmoovin'. What is schmoovin'? Is you that from the Deep Leffen Bot, or is it a real thing? <laughs> it's a real, it's a real... Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. It's a semi-real term. Oh, It's okay. not like a legitimate It's term. It's not, it's, it's... It's not like a technical term. Oh, okay. Well, I know it's not like wave dashing. Right. I know it's slang, but still. Le Leffen Bot is hilarious. Yeah, that's, it's, it's amazing, yeah. I don't even understand how it's that good. It's probably because it, it's been running for so long. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently it just spouts nonsense, and the guy just goes and picks out quotes from Deep Leffen. <laughs> you know, I'm going to read some. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, read some for the, for the viewer. There's only one. How are you doing? That viewer might be me, actually. It might be me, and it might be Luis. But we'll see. It might even be me. It might be you, yeah. I mean, if it's not one of you, please comment so we know. Okay, let's let's check this out. Okay. What does Leffenbach have to say? Okay, I, I need to find one that is uh, a rated T for teen, let's say. <laughs> okay, yeah. My kids ask, why is the world so bad, Dan? I tossed them the trunk for the third time today. Because in, we live in Europe, kids. That's why. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, I know, sometimes it's it's kind of profound. Oh, the Ken combo! <laughs> I heard there was one where he was saying that, like, all of your mains are are horrible and toxic as heck, except when I play them. In that <laughs> case, it's either, this character is actually a lot of fun, and these projectiles don't throw themselves. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> Those projectiles, projectiles don't throw themselves, you know? I'm not... <laughs> Well, I'm not no against that kind of game. Otherwise. No, they are. They're saying stop doing that. And then I go, well, these projectiles don't throw themselves. You got to deal with it. You know? <laughs> don't complain. I, I think that's why people like Tearless so much, because they can they can put the blame off of themselves. They're like, I'm playing a really bad character, so it's okay. Right. That's why people play Little Mac, because the thing is, is that if you win with him, then you're awesome because you just won with a low tier. And if you lose with him, it's not your fault. You chose a bad character. Right. You know what I mean? That's why I think people love the tier lists. It's, it's an excuse not to get good. <laughs> you know it's true. Garbage. So next is I don't, I don't know. Oh, no up throw? No, uh, no up throw. He's on the platform, I think. Yeah. 
Time him out. He could have. Yeah, yeah. Time him out. Time him out. <laughs> time him out. Just run. Go to the rock. Do go to <laughs> go to the rock. Go to the just. Come on, Worm. Oh no, no, it's you're getting. No, no, I'm telling Worm oh, to go. Ah, oh, oh, Worm. Oh, Worm. Worm. I wanted you to win. All right, it's off of Richie's jungle jam. Next is uh, bro. Rishi's jungle jam. You know, you, you you were just okay. I 